Journaling, I believe, is a practice that teaches us better than any other elusive art of solitude. I personally won't ever let my opinion on thoughts or my experience that matters to me come into pass without making it permanent. It is a valuable way of keeping track of our life's journey. I have been a blogger for nine years. My personal blog is a wheel of thought, a journey of self-discovery and a crystallized forms of both my inner and my outer life. Thus, I give a title so from my blog, The Threat of Life Seeker. Toastmaster Kajan from MCSA Toastmaster jotted down his compliment that my blog is emotional, intriguing, and deep for an avid reader. I personally felt understood when my aim is well conveyed to the reader. I would love to share these three core aspects that will keep us going and posting as a blogger, whatever intentions we have for starting it, whether it be for personal or organizational sake. First, write what interests us genuinely. One of the most accomplishing feedback I received from fellow Toastmaster who evaluated my blog, Toastmaster Gajan, Toastmaster Noor Adli, and Toastmaster Hansel, they said that my blog is well written. It's so because I write on subjects that align with my interests, for example, poetry, fiction works, personal journal, opinion, article, the book annotations of my current reading. By posting on a subject that close to heart, the sparks will last long to continue on writing. So first thing first, do figure out what you are to dive in on your blog. And second, spare time and eventually write. I will, it will take forever to find the right mood to write or to start a post on the blog. So the best way to start posting on the blog is to actually spare time and make a post on, on your blog. I have experienced it myself. I find it hard to maintain a regular time to post, but I try to make sure that at least I make a post in a month. By spending time to write a blog post, we will grow accustomed to the habit of posting on blog. And the last one, choosing the blog features wisely. This is so necessary to consider that the features to be put on the blog like widgets and blog layouts. Toastmaster Hansel and Toastmaster Noor gave me a feedback regarding navigation and layout that they thought it needed to be improved. It lets me know that I might as well consider my reader's need. So it is necessary to, cons to be considerate and to be mindful on the features and the, uh, that we are about to use on our blogs. So based on my experience as a blogger, these three points will keep your blogging experience more enjoyable. First, do figure out what ignite your interest first. And second, do spare time to make a blog post and to post a on a regular basis. And the last one, choose features on your blogs wisely. All in all, if you want to immortalize yourself and make yourself permanent in this finite world, blogging is the ultimate way. So back to Toastmasters of the meeting. Yes, uh, congratulations for delivering your project level four. And I think that, uh, you have shared your blogging experience. Thank you very much. I think this is one of the things that makes you feel confidence enough. And since the topic is also familiar to all of us, and I think everyone in here can relate to this. And also, uh, there's some, uh, I see that your vocal variety has improved better because uh, we can hear you clear enough. And yes, I think you have learned from the experience before, as well as the eye contact. I see that you have focused enough from uh, looking at the ground things that you probably can uh, improve. And the next one is also about your gestures. You have adjust your camera so we can see from your upper body until your hands and also from your face. So it's very clear enough. And as well as uh, audience awareness, I think this is one thing that you can improve that hopefully you can show some slides about your blog or maybe you can uh, show the websites so we can go through the blog as well 
probably some of us can visit and I think it can increase the traffic of the block. And I hope that uh, in terms of in terms of uh, stage mastery, since uh, I think you have to sit uh, at the one point from the camera, so I hope that probably you can uh, move uh, like to the left or to the right. So from there, probably uh, we can see that you can improve your. Um, just standing still, but also you can uh, uh, maximize the camera when you're trying to, uh, sh especially when sharing about the blocks, and you can uh, maximize this because I think this is one of the good thing for all of us to uh, get to know uh, what is, uh, and it's also a good thing to support your speech. So I think. Um, Congratulations, Toastmaster Redika, for delivering your speech, and I look forward for your next project. Thank you, and over to Madam Chi.